chat with me. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be a little different. As you guys can see, I have on my glasses. Never have on my glasses. Anyway, this video is gonna be a little different because I'm gonna be doing a little get ready with me video with also a little story time in it as well. So I am really excited to be doing this video. I have not done a video like this yet on my channel. I haven't done a story time on my channel yet at all. So I'm really excited to be doing a little story time for you guys. And the story time is a little personal to me and I haven't really opened up about this story time to anybody really ever i mean my friends know about it my mom my sister they know about it but i haven't really like laid out all of the details and just came out and just told a full story about that subject and you guys know what kind of subject it is because it's in the title of the video but i mean yeah i mean there's really not much more explaining to do about the topic it it happened but i want you guys to learn about me and get to know me and i want to be more comfortable with you guys and i want you guys to be comfortable with me so i mean why not do this kind of video but enough rambling enough rambling let's get into the video i am the worst multitasker i can't brush my teeth and comb my hair at the same time like it just it just can't happen it's hard so oh god I don't even know how to I don't even know how to start off the story honestly like it happened two years ago and it like broke off a hundred percent like a year and a half ago maybe that's when it like fully ended that's when we fully went our separate ways and like yeah that's just what happened and i'm just gonna start like you know doing my makeup and stuff now honestly i don't even know how i'm gonna do my makeup i'm probably gonna mess it up because i'm gonna be talking and thinking and trying to be a scholar while i'm doing my makeup but i mean i guess i'll i'll just wing it <laughs> but yeah this like it happened two years ago so let me just start at the front so let's rewind and go back to where it all began I met him or like I found out about him learned about his existence when I was in eighth grade so at the time I believe he was he was in 10th grade because he's two years older than me so yeah I met him in eighth grade and it was through this little app called kick and at the time like not everybody had iPhones so we would use kick and it was just a whole bunch of people in this group chat and so i was in it and i was always like a quiet person but like i was like who is this guy in this chat because he was just like a jokester like he kept joking on everybody in the group chat and i was like who is this dude and so he like a couple weeks probably maybe even a month went by of us all being in the group chat and I really wasn't that concerned about him at the time because I had no clue who he was. So why be concerned about someone that you don't know? And so one day, it was like nighttime. And you know how you're just texting on your bed, you know, just going through your messages or whatever. So I was just going through all of my kick messages because high schoolers could have their phones out in school at the time. But 8th graders couldn't. So I was just going through all of the messages that... The kids had been texting in the group chat throughout the day and then all of a sudden I get a little kick message and it's him and he was just like trying to get to know me and everything like that so that's where it all started through kick that's how we met each other through kick some of y'all may know what that is like hashtag throwback because the new kids they don't know about kick y'all but yeah, so I met him through Kick, and then after that, um, it was kind of like close to the end of the school year. So soon after, I started going to high school. Me and him, at that point, we had, from my point of view, we had made it official before I went into ninth grade. And I had no clue that he was like this popular dude in school. 
like in my eyes he was a popular dude because everybody knew him like i couldn't even walk down the hallway without somebody being like oh are you so-and-so's girl and i was like it was new to me because i wasn't like this huge popular person like i was always in the in crowd but i wasn't like this oh my gosh there she is or whatever and so it was just a little different because i had no clue who people were and they would just come up to me and be like are you so-and-so's girl and stuff like that he would do this thing where he would not text back and then i would text him again and he still wouldn't text back so i wasn't gonna like do be like a triple texter or anything and i barely even like double texted and he just kind of started like being dry and it was just like out the blue and then sometimes he would go days without texting me like he would not text me and that's when I was like okay like something's going on like he must be about to break up with me or something and then out of nowhere boom I get a text like hey I don't think this is working out I think that we like should go our separate ways so I was like okay like like did I do something and he was like no it wasn't you like it's just I don't think that it's a good time to be in a relationship or whatever so I was like okay mind you this story may be a little like off because honestly I did not like I don't have this all written down in a book so I'm trying to go off my head so some of these details might be a little like messed up but for the most part like everything is gonna be pretty close to accurate at least the ending result of the story will be accurate so yeah a little after that i started seeing him with like other females and at that point like us breaking up just made me like want to be with him even more which is the crazy part and we didn't talk for a while and then like one day he just like texted me out the blue and we started talking again and then we ended up getting back together because of course i couldn't say like no i don't want to be with you so it was like at this point i was like getting very invested in the relationship and of course he didn't feel the same way but you guys will you'll find that out a little later but ninth grade's kind of a blur so i'm gonna jump a little forward but you'll get the picture all of ninth grade we were basically on again off again on again off again he dated two other girls i believe my ninth grade year and um it was just horrible honestly like the relationship was so toxic it was so bad and but like we just kept going back to each other and i don't know what it was and i don't know like it was just horrible so fast forward to 10th grade year 10th grade i started the school year um with another boyfriend and I'm not gonna say his name I don't think I'm gonna say any of their names honestly or anyone's name like let's call my new boyfriend Johnny so I had started talking to Johnny the end of my freshman year because he was coming from another school and I was like oh this dude is so cute like I need to like start talking to him before all of these other girls start talking to him and like i can't talk to him and so me and johnny were um dating before school started and my ex we're gonna call him jerry so my ex jerry he um i think at this point in time he had a girlfriend as well but i didn't know that until school started and so Jerry had a new um, girlfriend and I had a new boyfriend. And me and Jerry, we weren't talking, we weren't on talking terms. I mean, yeah, me and Jerry, we weren't on talking terms at all. And so school starts and we aren't talking. And then he finds out, Jerry finds out that I am talking to Johnny. Like not just talking, but dating Johnny. And, um, and so I believe he got a little jealous so at that point like we had literally like cut all ties with each other me and Jerry we had unfollowed each other well I had blocked him on Instagram I had blocked him on Twitter and I wasn't following him on anything but when school started I was like okay no grudges or anything like I'm just gonna drop all that stuff so I um I added him back on snapchat I 
unblocked him on Instagram. I didn't follow him. I just unblocked him. And so it was like the third day of school and then I get a DM while I'm in my homeroom class. Mind you, I'm still dating. Honestly, the names are going to confuse the heck out of me. Johnny and Jerry, like I don't even remember which one is which. So I'm going to call him number one and number two. So, um, number two, I was still dating him at the time and number one knew that. And I think that number one did not want me to date another guy. And so he slid in my DM. So number one slid back into my DM, kind of just like trying to be friends and just be all nice and cuddly. And honestly, I feel like he was just trying to make it so that I could just start liking him again. But I knew how toxic that relationship was, so I did not want that to happen and so I did DM him back on Twitter, which was really stupid and I shouldn't have, but I did. And at the time, boyfriend number two had my information on Twitter so he could see like all of my stuff. So he texted me right then, like literally as soon as I responded and he was like, why did he DM you? And I was like, I have no clue. Like, we haven't talked since we broke up. He was just, like, really upset. And he got upset at me. And I was like, dude, like, like I'm sorry. I won't, I won't respond again. But that wasn't the case. Boyfriend number one texted me. And then we started texting. And we kept texting. And it just, I don't know, I ended up starting to care about him again but I knew that I didn't want to be with him but we were talking and at the time I still had a boyfriend he still had a girlfriend so it was a really 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 messed up situation that I wish had never happened because it was an accident but at the same time you have the choice to be able to say no and walk away from a situation but I didn't that time and so a couple months went by of us still texting and we were still with our other significant others and it was a night that I was just like I can't do this anymore like I'm tired of having to walk past you in the hallway and I have all of these feelings for you and it, it just it shouldn't be like this and so I ended up breaking it off I was like we can't do this anymore I don't want to do this anymore this is this is it like this is it and then literally five minutes later boyfriend number two the one that I was dating he texted me and he was like we have to talk and I was like like what do we have to talk about and he was like are you cheating on me and I was I was starstruck you see I'm not even doing my makeup anymore by the way I'm using the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette to do my makeup and I dipped into the shade Raw Sienna with my Morphe M433 brush. But yeah, so I honestly forgot where I left off. Let me think for a second. So boyfriend number two, we ended up breaking up and um, it was a really rough time. Like that was the roughest two weeks of my high school life. Like. It was so bad I had gotten in some trouble at school and it was just really horrible like it was just a very depressing time and it was just a it was one of the worst times like in my high school life honestly like I'm not gonna say life in general but in my high school life that was probably one of the worst times ever it was the roughest and it honestly made me stronger but anyway um I wasn't talking to either of them so it was weird because I went from ending things with one to the other one ending things with me and it's kind of like karma like what goes around comes around like you did that and then this happened to you so it kind of even things out but at the same time it was hard because I, I really cared about them both but you guys probably be like oh you cheater like it wasn't even it was like that but it didn't feel like that guy number one um me and him ended up started texting again um which was really stupid and i don't know why and he still had a girlfriend at this time we just kept texting and then i ended up clearing things up with school so then i went back to school and um boyfriend number two me and him started talking again also 
And so it was basically like I was back in square one texting both, but I needed to like really choose. So I ended up letting number two go. But um, it was like slowly and gradually over time, um, I let him go. Number one, we still would hang out and I just started getting like stronger and stronger feelings for him and somehow his girl found out and I think somewhere in there I tried to like have her find out somehow and then I think he found out that I tried to do that and it was just like a big mess and like when me and him would have arguments like it was the worst because it was just horrible and it would just make me feel so bad and I would literally be like depressed until me and him cleared things up and it was just horrible and honestly I felt like I had no power like I literally felt like I was like if he was happy I was happy if he wasn't happy I wasn't happy if he wasn't talking to me I wasn't happy if he wasn't texting me back I wasn't happy so it was honestly like one of the worst relationships slash non relationships that I had ever been in but still not dating or anything like that like we still hadn't gotten serious didn't go public and by the way we would like he would not show me off in school like it was like he was like ashamed of me in a way so it was you guys it was like really hard and like it may not seem like it was hard by how i'm describing it but it was honestly like one of the hardest times in my life it was one of the worst times of my life it was just a really 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 hard time and it was just really difficult to go through but me and him like we honestly we never got back together but we did continue talking and texting and um it was just hard so let's jump forward a little bit and i'm gonna tell you guys about this incident so by this time i was like in love with this dude like n like i can't go 20 minutes without texting him like i facetime all the time talking all the time while he's talking to other females doing things with other females i see him with other females i get so upset but i don't say anything because i still don't like i'm not the type of person to just go crazy like well at the time at the time i wasn't the type of person to go crazy about stuff like that and i mean i would but i didn't want him to know and so it was just you guys like oh it's really hard to even try to think about this because like I really tried to let it go and like talking about it just kind of like brings all that stuff back and it was just a really 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 hard time and we ended up going out one night yeah so I was with my girls and my sister has started dating this guy so him and boyfriend number one they were tight friends like real cool and so we ended up going out to cookout and they met us there he like asked for my phone for some odd reason but i was like okay like i at the time i thought i had nothing to hide like i had no text messages i, I wouldn't have dared try to talk to anybody else because i was just so emotionally and mentally invested in this dude so he was going through my phone and me and my friends at the time we had this group chat and so they were not big fans of his at all they didn't like him so they would talk about him in our little chat that we had so he was reading all of our messages and like he was a player like and i knew he was a player but i was just so invested in him like i could not just like stop talking to him so in the chat like there were messages of like me like confessing like yeah like he's like a hoe basically and he saw all that and literally like his demeanor changed and i was like what the heck so at this point he had my phone for like 20 minutes at this point not talking just straight reading text messages and you're probably like why the heck did you let him have your phone for that long he finished using my phone or snooping through my phone and then he set it down i saw like what he had read and then i was like Dang. so he ended up getting up from the table he went and asked my sister's boyfriend for his keys he went to the car i sat there for a moment and i was like i'm not just gonna let him walk away like i need to go talk to him so i follow him outside i follow him to the car and then he gets in the car i open the door and i'm standing there and then i'm just like looking at him and he was not looking at me he was like straight face on his phone and it was freezing outside 
it was winter and he was like can you close the door i'm cold and when he said that my heart literally sank into my stomach i stood there and i just looked at him for a second and then i closed the door at this point i was freaking out i was like i literally just lost my guy that wasn't really my guy i didn't know what to do and so i went inside and i was like i'm ready to go like and so all of my friends like they got their stuff and then we went into the car and I just started breaking down because I was like this is crazy and he wasn't texting me and it was just crazy and like as I told you guys I could not go like 10 15 20 minutes without him texting me like it was like it was crazy I would literally get go into a depressed state if I was not texting him and so he ended up texting me and then he was like it's over he was like why would you say stuff like that why would you do that it's over and so I was just like so messed up and I was I just didn't even know what to what to do what to say at that point I was like it's done it's over like there's no fixing this and so we ended up not talking and honestly you guys I was so freaking depressed you can ask anybody that was around me at the time I was so depressed and you're probably like why would you let a guy have that much control over you but at the time like it was like uncontrollable I could not stop myself from feeling how I was feeling I couldn't take away the pain like it was just so hard and I didn't even like if I could have made the pain go away I would have and but I couldn't it just like would not go away of course we ended up talking again which was not for my own good we should have should have just stayed apart you guys like the story doesn't even tell how much i went through it doesn't even like and there's a lot of things that i'm probably leaving out but i honestly don't remember a lot of the stuff and it was just really hard and like he had so much control over me in this relationship he had so much control over my feelings in this relationship and he knew it as well because he would do certain things and say certain things that would just hurt me and make me feel so bad and he knew that he was doing that he knew that he had that much control over me and so I honestly like it was just horrible and my mom would be like like is there anything I can do like is there any way that I can help you and there was just no helping that situation. I came to the conclusion like this isn't what I needed and he was like, no, like I'm gonna change and everything and it was just like, it's too late. I don't even wanna try to remember the ways that I felt when I was dating him. And I feel like this video doesn't even do the story justice because I don't even remember almost all of the details that happened while we were dating which really sucks but I mean at the same time I think it's best for me but like that was when we were dating and then we ended up breaking that off and I ended up not talking to anybody for a while because it was the worst time of my life it was the worst it was it was the worst like and I'm not gonna get emotional or anything because like there's no point point. and like I'm sitting here like stumbling over my words because there's so much that I know that I'm leaving out like so many details that I know I'm leaving out and there's a reason why I hadn't like talked to anybody about this story because it's just it was just a really 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 rough time in my life that I felt like I had like no one to go and talk to like all of my friends were telling me the same thing like they were telling me to just leave them alone and like just like let it go but they didn't understand like the the hold that he honestly had over me and it was like it's it's crazy because honestly I feel like he had put a spell on me or something because I was like there's no reason why I should feel like this you know to this day like me and him we don't talk like that like we don't talk at all when we if we ever see each other we don't speak yeah I think I'm gonna finish this story before I finish my makeup so I'm gonna do some parts of my makeup really quick and then come back with the rest of the story okay one moment okay I'm back 
for my lashes, I'm going to be using my Eyelor X Jasmine Brown Lashes in the style J-Bay. And I'm going to be putting them on with my Duo Lash Glue and some tweezers. This will be the first time that you guys see me put my eyelashes on on camera. So you're going to see how much I actually struggle. The heartbreak part of the story really is the fact that I have put my trust and my love into someone who just like at the time I felt like could have honestly cared less and he would show me times that he cared about me and then other times he would literally treat me like trash not talk to me for days and then just come back and then I would always take him back I always took him back I could never say no to him and it was kind of like he did whatever he wanted to do and I could not if I tried if I dared to talk to another guy it was like he would go berserk and I would never even try to do something like that because I cared about him so much so it was like like a dominance kind of thing like he could do what he wanted to do I couldn't do what I wanted to do I kind of just sat on the back burner and whenever he was like wanting to have somebody to like talk to or mess with like I was there and at the time I didn't see that but it was like everybody else could see it except me and so it it was really hurtful and it and honestly I can say that it it scarred me for a period of time and I'm over it now and I'm happy that I am because like who would want to live their life like that because honestly it was a very 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 hard time and I wouldn't wish that kind of relationship on anybody because nobody deserves to feel how I felt when I was in that half relationship it was oh my god I had to go ahead and put my lashes on off camera because like y'all would have been staring at me for the longest watching me struggle putting on these eyelashes literally I saved you guys about 20 minutes of your time and if I look like I'm like drunk um, it's these lashes, you guys. They always bring my eyes down, but they're actually gorgeous. I don't know why I don't wear them more often. On to highlight, I'm going to be using the ABH Glow Kit. For, like, my face, I use, like, all ABH products except for my foundation, my concealer, and my contour. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Amber Gold and Snow. These are my favorites, as you can see. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, back to the story. I don't know it was just a really difficult time and this video really does not do the situation justice I feel it, it was way harder to go through than it's harder to hear about it <clears throat> and I don't know it's just it was just one of those situations where you kind of you live and you learn and you just have to grow from the situation and if you can't grow from it then it kind of sucks but at the time, I didn't know my worth. I didn't know what I deserved. And so I stayed with that. And it was really hard to just walk away. And you guys are probably like, oh, like, why didn't you just cut it off? Why didn't you just leave it how it was and just like go on with your life? But honestly, it was just really hard. And it was just really hard to just let go. But once... I finally did it was it was a really good decision and there's even times to this day where I'm like I wonder if it's different for my setting spray I'm going to be using my Smashbox photo finish primer water and then for my lips I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics matte liquid lipstick in the shade clove but yeah honestly as I look back on everything that like i had to go through throughout that relationship it was honestly just a real eye opener and it sucks that it did happen but i'm happy that it happened because of the fact that i'm stronger as a person now i know my worth now i know what i can and can't handle and it's just you kind of live and you learn and it happens to everybody eventually so it was just kind of like my turn to experience that but yeah there's really not that much more to say about it it was just over that span of like a year and a half it was just really hard and it was like when we were good we were great when we were bad we were really bad and I was depressed and it was just a really hard thing to go through being able to for someone to have so much control over you that they kind of determine when you 
felt happy and it was just kind of difficult and it was just a really hard thing and honestly that was my first heartbreak because of the fact that it was multiple heartbreaks it wasn't just a one-time heartbreak like big long to your relationship boom we're done like no it was multiple heartbreaks multiple breakups multiple like everything it was just a really 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 rough time in my life and i don't wish it didn't happen but i wish that it could have happened in an easier way because it was just really hard and and now i feel like i treat guys different because of the way that i was treated in that relationship and it's just really hard to kind of just think about sometimes just because of no one really knows what really happened so it's just it was rough so to speak but now single life everything's perfectly fine I have no worries in the world now I live my life how I want to live my life I don't let anyone control how I live my life and I honestly feel like that's how everybody should live everybody should be happy and free whether you're in a relationship or not it should never feel like a dominance kind of effect it should never feel like it's too hard that it's like a life or death kind of thing and that's honestly how I felt like my relationship was I hope that you guys enjoyed this video this was actually a very 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 sensitive topic for me and it may not seem like it because of how I acted throughout the video but honestly it was kind of hard to just kind of go back into my mind and just remember those things and remember those feelings and how I felt throughout that time it was a little difficult but I mean it's for you guys so it was all out of love and happiness but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video if you guys want to know any details about my hair and how nice this hair quality is like look at that bomb honey go to my description box this wig is from RPG hair and you can use my discount code Camry10 for $10 off of your purchase of $100 or more on their website. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys back in another video. Bye, guys. I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point why I love and I hate you. And I cannot change you, so I must replace you.